What is going on guys? This is my first best young players in the future video for Football Manager 2017. I've done these videos in the past, generally at the start of a new Football Manager game, so you guys can find out the best young talents, some hidden gems as well. Of course, there's going to be some bigger names here that we already know of, but also some guys you might be wondering, ooh, who's that? I wondered the same uh, after I simulated, went on holiday for about seven years to uh, 2023. Also to keep in mind, playing on a large player database with all English leagues loaded, not more than that. So it's not the complete database of players in the game, but generally the database that most people are going to play on. Maybe some people might have more leagues loaded, but yeah, still on the large database, uh, there's majority of players in the game and still majority of younger players, just so you guys know that. And I've made the age at least 24. Uh, there's a lot of 23-year-olds that are regions in the game, but there may be a handful that are not. So I'll go through that. I'll change the age to only 23 towards the end of the video after, yeah, we have discovered all of these, and you'll see some regions here and there, of course, but, yeah, we'll try and, yeah, find those guys that start as 16-year-olds, but anyway, we are going to go through the highest valued, at least, this is the best way to find them, and sometimes players might have a high value, but they're not absolutely amazing, so keep that in mind, but, yeah, we're sorting it by the value, which is the best way to go, so the guy that is the highest value is is Anthony Martial. He's obviously a really well-known Manchester United player. He's moved to PSG. Uh, he's very, very strong. You can see uh, his strengths are his pace. Uh, he's pretty strong physically altogether. Uh, doesn't really have too many low. Like, lowest is uh, jumping reach in 12. But he's a strong player. Balance is good. Uh, very good dribbler. First touch, 16 as well. Technique, 16. Uh, you can see for Manchester United, uh, his appearances. And then, yeah, PSG, he really stepped up. Look the amount of goals. But obviously, some games and goals for Manchester United in real life. Life, but uh, this is something I'll do as well. Go to the history. That's a really good indication. But yeah, Manchester United didn't really get the best out of him at all. So as soon as he moved to PSG, they got the best out of him. As you can take a look at that, they, he signed 14 goals in 18 games. How about that? Then he just continued continued and this last season was his best uh, 23 assists uh, 23 goals I should say and 13 assists absolutely amazing 27 years old in his prime uh, scoring 36 times for the national team French uh, 79 caps as well uh, he's very very good but he may not be the best player because this guy Paolo Dybala who's moved to Manchester City he looks absolutely insane. Look at those attributes. To me, that looks really similar to like a Neymar type. His striker, 29 years old, Argentinian. He got 28 goals in 45 caps for the national team, but you can see absolutely amazing technicals. Mentals fairly strong as well. Physicals, uh, there's some lower ones, like jumping rate 7. Uh, his pace is 15, which is not too bad. Strength 12, but then, yeah, acceleration 16. Agility 19, balance 16. But it's the technicals stand out because he doesn't have too many lower ones that are relevant. You take away tackling, marking long throws, doesn't really matter. Uh, for the position he plays, but yeah, absolutely amazing, and if we go to the history, Manchester City signed him for 97 million, that is a massive signing, absolutely ridiculous, if we want to compare that, uh, we'll just go, uh, I'm Manchester United, uh, even though I didn't manage them and just save, just went on holiday, you go to Paul Pogba, see how much they signed him for, 90 million, and there's been, that was obviously the big talk uh, in the preseason when Manchester United signed him, the, the big money transfer, so just in comparison, what Manchester City have paid for him and how he's performed for them uh, is worth the money, 100%. He's going to score those goals. I'm surprised he hasn't got more assists, though, because he strikes me as a very creative striker with that passing technique, vision. 
he can be a creative force for you, and he's still got assists, hundred percent. But yeah, if you have a if you're a big team, you should be signing him. Really, um, well, you don't have to, but he would be such an asset. But at the same time, you don't want to wait too long because then you're going to need a big amount of money to uh, sign him. Really, you're going to need a big sum of money to sign him. Uh, we're moving to next guy, Munir. These are some bigger names uh, that we all know. Munir uh, seems very balanced. He doesn't have killer attributes similar to Martial where he's not absolutely stand out like Dybala but he still would be a great striker you look uh, Bayern Munich sign him start at Barcelona maybe first few seasons you could get him cheap look Leverkusen sign him just under 7 million but as soon as he kind of found his feet uh, he started to improve scoring more goals look at that he went from three goals in 11 games and you can see he started seven of those in the league at least. But then, yeah, that's he came first team player. Uh, then he moved on to Bayern Munich a few years later, and he's having yeah one of his better seasons. Um, he moved in January, as you can see, because he was killing it at Leverkusen. Nine goals in thirteen appearances. That was absolutely amazing. That's in the league as well, scoring more goals continentally. He had five assists as well. And then, yeah, re that's a big money signing, 35.5 million. So, yeah, he does develop into a really good striker. I wouldn't say he's the best. I would, well, in the value, he's in the top five. So, yeah, most definitely. But the first guy that you could be unaware of is Zay Gomez. As you can see, 24 years old and we're in 20 uh 2023 so i think starts 18 uh 17 18 zay gomez is at psg and he is a beast he's 184 centimeters so he isn't really really tall but he's a good height he definitely isn't small he's a good size he's got that strength and pace he would be absolutely beastly if he was only <laughs> if he was over maybe like 190 centimeters but yeah, that he's absolute physical beast because he's so quick and he's strong as well. Those players, those strikers especially, are hard to contend with because then he's he's really good in the air. He's got 16 heading as well. So you get the ball to his head and he's probably going to nod at home as well. He's at 37 million. Uh, you can see they signed him a few years ago for 14 million. So his transfer value has progressed with the last two seasons, him scoring over 20 goals in the league. And again, 27 in total and international. He's got 12 goals in 11 appearances. And he's only 24 still, so he probably still has a little bit of improvement. Not major improvement, obviously, at 24. But take a look at this. 53 caps and 37 goals for Portugal at 24 years old. Absolutely amazing. Uh, big signing for PSG, and you can see... He starts at Benfica, out on loan for the first few seasons. Actually does fairly well out on loan at indecent divisions, to be honest. Like, uh, in the French uh, league for Lyon, not too bad. Before then, in the Super League in Greece, uh, where he got a bit of experience. And he really, he came along well. He got his experience. He improved in the second season, out on loan. Olympiacos did really well. Well, the first season, he actually is just in the reserve team for Benfica. And he does well there, getting a pretty good rating. So, yeah, he is one of those young gems you could probably sign for cheap while he still has high potential. And I know, yeah, it's not easy to sign <laughs> sign them. Not just, you, you can't just sign them for cheap if they've got decent potential in there. Marcus Rashford, just give you a quick look at him because you know what he's all about. He's actually moved on to Chelsea. Oh, that's uh, annoying to see Chelsea sign him if you're a Manchester United supporter. But they paid a lot of money for him when he wasn't really getting a go at Manchester United. He was getting some games, and I guess for his age, it was a decent amount. But Chelsea pounced, and they started him as really a key player. And the thing is, though, he's scoring some goals, but he's, it's maybe one goal every three games, nothing too amazing. Average rating is nothing to get excited about. So that's interesting. Uh, Andrea Pinamonti now, another one of those names you might not know of, and he's at PSG. PSG would be absolutely dominating with all these players, and he stayed in Italy up until the last season, so he yeah, was a big money signing, so that bumped up his value, but obviously, yeah, PSG, are just they don't sign him for no reason. He's a quality player, uh, five goals in 10 appearances, 
performances for Italy. Uh, you see he's got three key attributes there. Dribbling, finishing, first touch, all 16. And then he's got vision as well. So he could be a very creative striker like Dybala. Obviously not the same ability. Could still improve slightly and even the scout report here sign him whatever the price so you can see he is a talented player uh, very very strong as well you can see he's 186 centimeters um 89 kilograms as well so yeah he's got that physical ability and um, presence about him and he's not totally slow he's got 12 pace uh, but then agility 16 balance is 18 as well It'll be hard to uh, get him off the ball like with 17 strength and 18 balance it's so good he's uh, again a uh, young hidden gem him and zay gomez are the two right there uh briel and bolo we definitely know a lot about this lad in the past year or so in fm16 he was a good talent and even in fifa career mode uh really quick uh, strong and we'll just see his history uh obviously he moved to Schalke in real life so his first season there yep played a few seasons in the Bundesliga, he's he done okay, he didn't really do anything special until uh, that season, then he moved in January, so that's pretty cool to see, uh, you know football manager, pretty realistic, a player doing well in January, and another team, yeah, wants to sign him pretty much, but he hasn't really uh, shined, to be honest, at Arsenal in the Premier League, so maybe that's a bit, again, it's only one save, but that could maybe steer you away from signing him. Maybe he can't perform in the best league in the world, which is the Premier League. Fight me on it, mate. <laughs> nah, but seriously, yeah, uh, Premier League, most competitive league in the world. You could almost say the championship as well, <laughs> the, the division below. That is very, very competitive. But in terms of, like, ability as well, yeah, Premier League, uh, like, saw Leicester City winning the Premier League. <laughs> who thought, uh, I don't think you could see that happen in any other top league in the world, uh, where a team, maybe that were predicted by some to even get relegated, or definitely close to relegation zone, uh, come up and, and win. Uh, but <laughs> we shall move on away from that. Inaki Williams, will steer away from him, because he's more of a winger. I'll cover him in the winger uh, videos. This is just for the strikers. So next up, Santi Mina, who is also a right winger, but I see him, yeah, definitely as a striker. But his finishing hasn't developed too much. It's only 12. So, yeah, it will be interesting to f see how well he would do in a striking position. But his value is really, really high. You look, Leicester, just talking about him, 7 million. And also, you're probably wondering about the league names, the division names, competition names, the Spanish ones. Um, yeah, I don't know, because I'm using uh, Football Manager 2016 update, because at this time, there's no update to download for the name. So, I think because the Spanish division, they had an update of their name for this current season. So... Yeah, it wouldn't have been the same, and how it's in FM17, it just, it's different how their, yeah, names are coded into the game, so they couldn't obviously change like they would have in FM16, just if you can understand that at all, but yeah, just to put a note out there until I can download that, uh, until there's a new one for FM17, but yeah, um, signed for 7 million, but his value is above 30 which is surprising because he doesn't look like absolutely killer and hasn't performed amazing. So I'm wondering why his value is so high after a few seasons and just signing, yeah, from a low amount of cash, really. Ah, uh, Diogo Jota. I don't really know too much about this guy. He would have started 19, 19 years old. He's natural in three positions. Interesting, interesting type of player. He's one of those, you don't know. If he's natural in three positions, is he better as a winger, attacking midfielder? Or he... He probably could be best as a striker, to be honest. Passing 12, so doesn't strike me as overly uh, playmaking <laughs> type in attacking midfield. And crossing 10, um, if anything, left wing, he should be better as an inside forward. So, yeah, he, he seems all right. Signed for Manchester United. Few They they paid almost $30 million for him. And Juventus signed him as well in the save. So you can definitely see quality teams see something in him. So, he's got some talent. Uh, Portuguese, he's scored 21 goals. So, he's got some ability in him, that's for sure. Uh, sometimes players can be... Uh, like, you look at their attributes, they don't look so amazing, but they can perform. Obviously, he's still got really solid attributes. But, yeah, it doesn't look world-class. But he can still score That's and do well, uh, perform for the team. Maxi Milano Romero. So, this is another guy that starts pretty young. Um, 17, 18... 
and he is at FC Porto right now. He's doing pretty well for them. Um, obviously, it's a Portuguese league, not the most competitive, uh, but still, like, FC Porto is a pretty decent team. Again, he's strong, uh, doesn't lack pace, he's got 16 acceleration, he's a bit smaller though, so he strikes me as someone maybe like a Tevez type, who's a bit shorter, but he's still very stocky and strong, you can see that with his strength, uh, good dribbling, so he'll control the ball well, and he's able to finish, uh, so yeah, I don't want to, uh, I don't know how much longer we'll go on for, like, I don't want to go too down because, yeah, player ability, uh, but I, I want to show you some key guys. And I won't go into the history too much because um, you can see that from the biography if you want to read a little bit and you can see the career stats and goals and who th who they played for. Manchester City then moved on to Liverpool. So those are his attributes at 27 million. Ian Nacho is a decent player. And by Niang, who's also natural as a right winger, but striker would be his main position, I like to think. He's got the pace, strength, finishing. Uh, Monaco, just see... Um, how he went, he, he signed for Monaco, 16.5 million, so that's that's a, a decent size move, I think there would be better options if you have unlimited cash, like Dybala, if you have the money to go for him, but Niang, um, if he's in your price range, and he's he could be a potential signing, uh, he's versatile as well, can play as winger, so uh, Boya Mayoral, who is 26 year old, or 26 years old in 2023 at Roma. We'll see how much he signed for. 24.5 million. Had a few seasons out on loan, gaining experience, which he did, but never has had a seven average rating in a season, which is not too promising. Attribute-wise, though, he looks not too bad physically, maybe lacking his highest as natural fitness, so he's not overly quick or strong. So, I, I need that from a striker, to be honest. You've got to be a pacey striker or a strong striker. So, you can obviously have your advantage. But, it doesn't seem to have that. Um, Harry Kane, he's probably someone that can showcase... Well, he's got 15 strength. So, yeah, he's a bit of a stronger striker. Um, Harry Kane, he's stayed at Tottenham. So, credit to him. He scored 56 goals for England. So, you guys might find that interesting. And yeah, he hasn't moved. He stayed at Tottenham without being amazing. He's had some nice seasons, scored uh, 17 goals in the league there, 25 for the whole season. You can see overall uh, that is not too bad. But yeah, it's hard to judge. He hasn't really moved on to another team. So yeah, how much you can sign him for, something like that. And then Paco Alcacer, he is a very, very good finisher, good pen taker off the ball, very, very strong attribute for him as well. He has moved to Southampton. He's definitely <laughs> made some moves. You see Barcelona, he signed for, and then, yeah, went to Manchester City the next season, then to Arsenal, Southampton. So moving around a bit in the Premier League there, and interesting, it's like he's going lower each time from Barcelona to Manchester City, Arsenal, then Southampton, I think. At least in the Premier League, you see, yeah, Manchester City as a title contender, Arsenal, like, going for third or fourth, and then Southampton, maybe mid-table, but 30 million, that's a lot of money, so they must be good financially. Uh, well, they are, and definitely, they always make profit off of youth players, so they're probably doing the same in the game. Now, check this guy out before, Ray Menage. He's not really that good, so I'm not sure why he's worth 24 million. Um, yeah, you can see, they just signed him for about 7 million, so he had a good season in the championship, so yeah, he's not really that dominant, uh, world-class striker type. Neymar's still there. Uh, I'm not sure how interested because, you know, yeah, Neymar, he wouldn't really change too much in his attributes. Um, and Johannes Egerstein, I'm not sure if that's how you say his name, but either way, uh, he's 25. So, again, he starts the career relatively young. He's at AC Milan. He just moved to AC Milan on a free signing. Interesting. So he starts fairly young. So he doesn't look terrible, but he's not very quick. He's only got 11 pace, 15 strength. Probably not that world-class type. AC Milan uh, will try and get the best out of him. Uh, but yeah, he doesn't look like that absolute uh, killer, amazing striker. Andrea Bellotti. Again, he's not too young. He doesn't start too young. So now I'm just going to look for some names. Um, Luka Jovic, let's see how he develops this year, not too bad, obviously he's known the last few years, um, he looks alright, uh, Gabriel Barbosa, again in the same boat, we've known him for a few years, he develops okay, but 
not absolutely crazy. And Tales, I'm not sure, yeah, about his name. <laughs> uh, he's 28. He's played 13 times for Brazil. He's a good physical player, very strong. Isn't too slow because he's got 17 agility, 17 balance as well. So good ball at his feet. So 15 goals. And anyone else? There's a Cardi, but yeah, Cardi's more bigger name. Geraldo uh, Preciado. <laughs> I'm not sure. I haven't heard of him before. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad, but we're pushing below 20 million now, so there's going to be a lot of, not bad players, but yeah, just not the absolute kill cool players. Uh, as like Kennedy, Jose Perez. Um, yeah, these guys will stay around a similar ability. These aren't quite, yeah, like in the label of best young players in the future. And here's a region. And of course, he'll be bold, the first one I click on. So I'll go and do what I said there. And I'm going to just do 23. I'll do at least 23. And then I'll just add the age again. And at most 23. So we can see if there's 23. A lot of them are going to be regions though. Like Jose Afonso. Yeah, thought he'll be a region for Manchester City. But that's a dream region. This is as a striker. That's my ideal striker. Strong, quick, and can finish <laughs> just simple and then some relevant mental attributes that are good so good just so you can see how a region has developed and um he, he had one amazing season for atletico 22 goals in 26 games just smashing them in smashing them in completely so Manchester city imagine with him and dibala so many goals would be coming in how about facundo uh colidio i think i've heard of him yeah, he is. He is a real player. He's not a region. Uh, so you can see he's 182 centimeters. He's not overly strong. Uh, he's still got 15 strength, though. So he is strong, but just judging off his height and then his weight as well, he yeah, he wouldn't seem... You can see aggression. I think aggression and their weight will be tied in some way, but a player can still be aggressive, just his natural ability. But yeah, his body won't be as stocky. That's what I would imagine. But Barcelona turned him to like, a decent player. Uh, from Boca, so you can get him, he's a striker, you can get relatively cheap, but even this far in, he's, he's, he, this is probably the last season, last couple season is when he's become a first team player, but again, he's obviously not the same standard as like a Lionel Messi, but he's first team, he's quality, but I wouldn't say he's uh, Barcelona world-class attacking, like their current attacking players, not as good, so uh, again, Moyes Keane, he is another one. Okay, Bournemouth. So, he's Italian, actually. He's Italian. Where does he start? He started at Juve. So, he's interested. He's made his way to Bournemouth. Looks not too bad. Uh, looks not too bad. He's 23 years old. Can improve slightly. Physically, pretty strong, as you can see. Pace is 15 as well. Um, he doesn't look too bad. Uh, he could be a nice uh, little prospect. If we go to history again, a few seasons in, because he's out on loan for the first few seasons. So, maybe... After first season on loan, uh, but because he does well on loan as well, you look at those ratings, uh, they are pretty good. So those are, I'll just see, is this George guy? Yeah, he's a region. He's another bald one. I've noticed that. <laughs> Niels Ayats. Yeah, um, these really high quality. So there's not going to be, I'll see Belmonte. Um, yeah, he's a region as well. I think uh, we're finding a trend now. So yeah, then it'll be below 20 millions so i'll just take the ages off there so you can see yeah sort by the value hopefully you did enjoy this video drop a like leave a suggestion on what position i should do next and the one that gets suggested most i will do so hopefully you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe as well for daily football manager content and i will see you guys in the very next video